Hello everybody, my name is Boo Kitty, but most of you call me Boo Boo or Kitty. I'm part of the Bubble Babes and we normally stream on Twitch, Bubble Babes Twitch, but we started streaming on Facebook, just like most of you. I'm not an expert on streaming, but I can give you a couple tips of what has been successful for us, for the Bubble Babes, and what have worked for us. So if you want to hear a little bit more about it, stick around. Stick around, yo. Let's go. We started streaming on Facebook gaming just like many, many people have done. You know, it's a great way to start, it's a great way to get out there and build a community. When we started, we started kind of slow, but then we started growing and then it became amazing. Uh, a lot of you were supporting us uh, when we play Splatoon 2, that's the game that we normally play. But we came across a couple issues that we were having during the stream. The quality for Splatoon 2 wasn't that great. For all the games, it was perfect, but for Splatoon 2, unfortunately, it wasn't. And that's our main game. That's the game that we enjoy playing, like many of you that stream this game. Uh, Facebook was throwing us out, out there with the agri whatever you call that. Yeah, right here. Hey, I'm Latina. You cannot expect me to say a big word like that. <laughs> so at some point, Facebook was throwing us all there to all of you and uh, to a lot of people and they were watching our stream. But unfortunately, at some point, that crashed hard. Regardless of the big, amazing community that we were creating and then we had already, um, we weren't getting seen by when we were playing Splatoon 2. When we started streaming Little Nightmares, it was great. We were uh, catching um, new viewers in and a lot of people into our community. But then, hey, it crashed again. So we decided to make the decision to move to Twitch. We thought the platform was a little bit more better for Splatoon 2, better quality, uh, and better interaction for the viewers to have with us. Maybe you're asking yourself why my videos are not getting so many viewers, why I'm not getting views, uh, high views on my videos live stream. I'm putting all my effort, I'm putting lights, I'm putting layouts, I'm putting so much equipment into my streaming and Facebook is not bringing viewers to me. Facebook gaming is saturated with a lot of gamers and we understand that. And one of the things is that Facebook give priority to those partners gamers that they already have. And the second thing is that normally for small streamers for us, it's hard to grow on Facebook because of the, yeah, that word. This doesn't mean that you won't make it on Facebook. A lot of people have been successful on Facebook gaming. Uh, but if you're seeing like you've been streaming for a year on Facebook and you haven't grown and people are not watching you stream, I think it's time to move. Just move. Let's go. When we switched to the purple side, we saw a big difference on our streams. The viewers were more and that on the, the were on Facebook. The quality was much better and people were enjoying our our gaming. We gave viewers days too. This is a nice way for you to connect and create a community. Do viewers day if you're a streamer and you're not playing a multiplayer game and you're not involving your viewers, dude. Oh girl. What the heck are you doing? Involve your community into the streams and start growing that community with them. Make them part of it. Everybody wants to be on stream. Hey, why not? I was one viewer before and I love and enjoy to be part of one of the streamers that I love to watch uh, being part of the stream. One of the many things that have helped the Bubble Base to grow has been the marketing. I'm in charge of the marketing, I'm in charge of the graphics, and normally uh, throwing out there with my moderators all our promotions, promote your stream, have a steady schedule. A lot of small streamers don't have a steady schedule and they just normally stream whenever at whatever time and that's not the way it works. You want to have a steady schedule to let your community know what time you're going to be online so that way they're prepared and they're expecting you to be online at that time, life at that time. If something happens, you know, life can be a bitch sometimes, you know, that's normal. Change, uh, things happen during the day and things change. If you cannot make it, always let your community know on time that you're not gonna be streaming that day. But have a schedule, a schedule is so important. With the bubble base, a normally schedule 
uh, with my team. Uh, I involve Team Badass on our schedule multiplayer games so that way they can play with us in matches. I normally schedule for almost two months. Hey, the schedule can change. That's fine. Some people might not be available to play with us that night and that's okay. But I plan ahead. So that way my team uh, are prepared and they know what's coming for our next um, uh, streams. Be creative and start promoting your streams on the stories, on Instagram, on Facebook, on uh, on uh, Twitter, whatever. Just go to social media and uh, promote your streams the, day, the night before and the day that you're going to be streaming. This let people know that you're going to be streaming that day at that time and they're going to set up the day so they can watch it and they're going to put that alert on your social media whatever you're streaming so that way when you go live they can receive that notification one of the things that we were struggling with facebook was that facebook wasn't not, uh, sending notifications when we were live and we were missing our viewers were missing a lot of our streams that hasn't been happening with twitch uh so i'm so thankful with that and we don't have to worry about it but promote your stream use all social medias to do it, especially the stories on facebook if normally you're streaming on facebook and if you're not streaming on facebook facebook stories are an amazing way for you to connect with people people will watch stories more than they will watch that they will see a post normally facebook won't show the post that you're posting because they normally show older po posts or they give parody to something else and some of your viewers might miss that post but they i guarantee you they will never miss a story your brand is very important it's important for you to have a color for your brand like normally for the bubble base we use our main colors our hot pink and light blue like kind of like aqua blue but we play splatoon and splatoon has a lot of colors and say uh, pokemon so that way uh we kind of mix it up with like graffiti colors and then we create our own brand having a layout that is attractive to your stream is very important do not shrink your capture card uh game do not shrink it make it viewable for the players so that way they can enjoy the game and watch it in a better view sometimes people rotate their phone sometimes they not rotate the phone so it's important that your capture your game capture has a good view for your viewers it's very important and your layout must match uh, your your brand colors do not put a lot of things on your layout keep it simple keep it clean the more cleaner the better it is going to be attractive for the viewers try that the colors are not so super bright because we're watching you know it's it kind of hurts our eyes of bright colors watching only our bright, bright colors just create something that is very um attractive for your viewers and that then you can identify yourself with it because that's the most important thing people are going to see that layout are going to see your graphics and they're going to know who you are and most important when you go live be yourself be you don't try to imitate some some other streamer or try to be someone that is not you for example i'm latina i'm so proud of being puerto rican i was born and raised in puerto rico and i have an accent and i'm so proud of my accent even so i've been living in the united states for so many years i decided that i didn't want to lose my la accent because that's what makes me me that's what makes me different from anybody else so don't be ashamed of you who you are be you i'm I'm so proud of my accent i'm so proud where i come from and i involve that in my streams i stream with my partner merch and um she's american she doesn't know uh so much spanish she knows a little bit and uh i'm latina so we bring different things to our stream you know she bring her culture i bring my culture we mix it up and then it's perfect we have people that speak only spanish and don't know any english and all our streams are english and they still watch our streams because we mix it up regardless of who is streaming that day if it's either me or it's merch we bring uh we bring uh every race together regardless so just be you be who you are and be proud have fun when you game in um show people how much fun you uh you have streaming and playing that video game that you're playing that day that night etc one of the mistakes that a lot of small streamers do is that sometimes they don't pay attention to their viewers. The viewers are the ones that make you. Without the viewers, hey, 
we can't go anywhere on this streaming industry. So it's important you give attention to your viewers, read their comments, have alerts on your stream for whenever they give you like, they give you stars, bids, or they share your stream, or they give a follow, and then announce them, make them feel important that they that you value their time in there. Hey, because they could be watching a movie on Netflix instead of watching you. So appreciate that they decided not to watch a movie on Netflix and they decided to sit down and watch you and uh and see how fun you are and and follow you so give your viewers the attention read the comments out loud if you can uh sometimes we get um so into the game and then we don't have the time to kind of read the comments and that's okay the viewers will understand that just make sure you let them know in occasions when i'm streaming at the bubble we switch on twitch i let my viewers know hey guys i will catch up with your comments after the smash or i will catch up your comments after you know if i die in the match or something but let them know that you will catch up with those comments as soon as you can make them feel important and part of your stream because they are the ones that are giving you the row for success one of the things that we did it was we opened a discord channel this give people opportunity to be in our discord discord create a community and grow uh all together we uh created our discord in a way that there's different games not just only Splatoon 2 or pokemon we have um little nightmares we'd have um Oh my God, Monster Hunters, many, many games, Warsons, many games that people can come to our community and play. It doesn't mean that only people that play Splatoon or Pokemon will join our Discord. No, our Discord is for everybody, for everybody that loves video games and want to find people to play those type of video games that they like. And then we all come together to play that game if you uh if there's other people that play it so create a discord promote your discord invite that community to that channel so that way you can grow and start building not just only a community if not a family because that community is going to become your family and that family is going to support you to the end on your streaming career use an attractive caption for your stream don't be using all the time the same caption or put it on your caption uh i hit him so I, I need to hit so many followers uh uh -da -da, so many stars uh we'll set up the lures on this and that don't do that create a title that will be attractive for your community and maybe couple links that where they can follow you on your social medias or your discord um, you don't need to be saying like and share, etc. Because what that's one of the things on Facebook that Facebook doesn't like. Facebook doesn't like the for, the word like, share, or uh, stars on your title. It will automatically say no this person is trying to promote themselves and we don't want to do that so that's a big no so have your title something simple change it every time to something that people can say oh hey i want to watch a streamer i like that title don't make it catchy and then that that the the title doesn't match your stream for example if we're going to be playing songs between two rainmaker we talk about uh um, we put on the title something funny about rainmaker we make it fun uh so that way people will see that hey they're going to play from maker and they're making it fun like clams when we play clams with Splatoon 2 we call them clams biatch we don't like to play clams so we kind of make it like a little bit fun and different uh for our community to connect with the title and connect with our stream and last but not least there is something more most important that i always like to remember my fellow small streamers fake it until you make it it doesn't matter if you have one viewer or several viewers act like there's people watching you because sometimes if facebook or twitch would like to decide to push your stream somebody is going to watch that record stream and you want it um make it fun so that way that person can come back to your next live stream and give you a follow okay so fake it until you make it act like you have a thousand of viewers on that stream watching you talk a microphone is so very important to have invest on your stream uh i know sometimes we struggle a little bit with uh investing but go little by little save a little bit of money and start very, very investing in a good mic in a good computer in a good lighting etc so that way you make your stream more attractive for people 
And then uh, people with a good mic, they can hear you a little bit better and your stream will sound smooth. I know that, you know, when I started, it was a little bit hard for me. I started with just like a crappy computer, a crappy mic, but if I wanted to take streamer uh, uh, streaming a little bit more serious, then I knew I had to invest on uh, on streaming and that's what I did. So invest in yourself is something that at the end of the road you never know if it's gonna be, make if it's gonna double that investment that you make. And remember, always have fun in your streams, build that community, be fun in your streams, be you be who you are and show the people the greatest human being that you are and I'm sure they're gonna start following you because of it and make the viewers feel happy watching your stream and and enjoyable i hope this help you guys this is something that help us to the bubble base we've been streaming for almost a year we're not experts like i said but i'm so glad that i can share with you guys a couple tips a couple things that have helped us grow during this time so if you're a spiritual uh, player i want to close it out with this get out of facebook gaming move to twitch you're gonna have better graphics over there very better views um uh twitch is a big community for a splatoon people are gonna watch you there and hey if you start a little bit slow don't worry about it start creating that community like i said of that game and then start bringing people to your channel and promoting that channel so people can start watching you marketing is very important uh on this industry of streaming and I'm sure at the end of the road, you're going to make it. Don't feel desperate to making it big so quick. This is step by step, little by little baby steps, and you will get there. The most important thing is that while you're streaming, you enjoy it. Do enjoy that time and your viewers can enjoy it too. See ya.